So here's our first home in Malta. Um, here's the living room with our little futon. I think it pulls out into a bed, although I don't think we'll need that. Um, you enter into the kitchen with its little refrigerator and freezer, microwave, oven, and then over here is our sink. You go into the hallway and then into the bathroom where we have a washer dryer. A sink and a shower. Um, and then you enter into the bedroom. Here's the bed. Um, nice little drawers. A, dra a bureau for us to put hang clothes up. And then you can walk out into our little garden area. It's small. It's exactly what the picture said. Uh, at this one, we're only here for right at 10 days so this should be this should be good i'm excited are you excited so excited <clears throat> i mean the whole point is to kind of see how they live here and this is how they live here it's pretty so, legit yeah, yeah. Made in the digestion, supposedly. Butter, perfect for biscuits and pastry. Do you think it's stork butter? Like they made it from storks? How you gonna milk a stork? Instant coffee, that seems to be all they have in the grocery store, plus we don't have a coffee maker. Um, pasta sauce for me. Andrew would rather have his pasta with butter. Because I'm just middle American. <laughs> Pasta, pasta barilla, coffee mate, uh, mushroom soup with cream of chicken soup, and then a bag of M&M peanut and a bag of Maltesers. Because we're in Malta. Which seems like a malt ball, like a waffle. All of that for the low, low price of 22 euro, which is about $25. Not bad at all. We've been discussing that there ain't nowhere to be. Ain't nowhere we need to go. No hurry. In a hurry. We could sit here forever and they let you because they don't ever want to give you the check. Here, I could sit here for days because they don't even have anywhere to stack these tables. In fact, these people, I believe, have been here for days. Smoking their cigarettes. Drinking their wine. Delicious. In any case, we were just having that discussion. Coming from a place and a mindset of like, forever being on the move, always multitasking, go, 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 move, move, move. You know, tell your story walking. Get the bricks, pal. You know, 
to this where you could just kind of sit, it's almost weird. You almost have a feeling of like, I should be moving, I should be doing something. I should have some, somewhere to be. I don't have anywhere to be. And I mean, that's the dream for everybody out there who doesn't have any time to not do anything. We've, we've reached the mountaintop of <laughs> laziness. I think that's also the dilemma. You said laziness, and it does feel a little lazy. And for me, my entire life, I don't think I've ever been lazy. Unless I was sick, or... But that's not even laziness, that's being sick, you fool. Okay. Who are you, Joan of Arc? It feels, it feels relaxed, um, but it feels very, almost uncomfortable. Um, because like right now, we, we, I mean, we literally don't have anywhere to be. We don't need to do anything. There's nothing we're even really putting off, except maybe editing some videos for YouTube for you guys. Both incredibly relaxing, and at this point, two and a half weeks into our trip, um, a little disconcerting because no one around us has an RV either, and it feels like there's an energy that we get from, certainly from New York, um, but even from the United States in general, that it's like there's always a hustle bustle around you, even if you're not doing it. a little out of my comfort zone, but we're figuring it out. We're establishing routine as best we can. Are we? Well, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, we're doing all right. Yeah. All right. We'll look at this lady. For no reason other than we don't have anywhere to be.